recommend driving if you've never driven before you why don't you get yourself onto the DMV there physical office and get yourself a little fill out a little form and learn how to drive you yo beautiful sovereign citizen <laughs> now is this the way we're acting right now is this like a standard adult behavior yeah, this is like... Like, is this what's usually <laughs> happening? One guy's got his face painted like he's going to some kind of sporting event. And the other guy's just stuck with a face like this. <laughs> yeah, man. No vehicles over 12 feet. There it is, the New York skyline. Budo was born in Nepal, dude! We knew! <laughs> it's finally settled. Budo was born in Nepal. I don't even know what it is. You know, one time I was driving by here and I saw the craziest fucking lights in the sky. People were like coming out of their cars and taking pictures. And then they later said it was a uh, explosion at a power plant. Well, Which maybe it was. Sure looked like fucking aliens. Don't though. they have, isn't it kind of like a proven thing now that the, like the government has like alien technology that's like self-powered and Bluetooth. <laughs> I don't know, Bluetooth? <laughs> yeah. Why, got... Bluetooth from aliens? No, but I'm, no, but they've got, I, well, what Bob Lazar claims is that there's like a spaceship at Area 51 that like defies the laws of physics. It just flies around like Huh. Choop, choop. It goes from point A to point B and like... What do you think of him? Yeah, he's a nice guy. Bob... Do you think it's legit though or do you think he's just telling a really good story? You know, it's interesting. You, you, know, you, you, you never know with these things. You just never know. Uh, you know, Bob Lazar, you know, why would he do this to himself? It did ruin his life and he can't get a real job and he's stuck being a pariah. So uh, why would he do this to himself, you know? You know, it's kind of, you know, people try to kill him and I don't know. It seems like not a, something you would want to bring into your life if... You have the option. Tell me about these pants. Bro, peacocking, baby. Just peacocking, you know? You, when you got it, flaunt it. You know, no, but you know, we just uh, we just out here, baby. We, NYPD looks and they see me, I'm like this. NYPD, <laughs> they're like a sniper. Like, <laughs> like a sniper. <laughs> Yeah. My favorite part wait, of wait, what was that you doing with your tongue? Yeah, my favorite part of See How They Run was when Adrian Brody was like, Robert, film the American film director. 